Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can rotate an image using GIMP and I will show you a couple of different ways. In GIMP you have a couple of different concepts that they're very similar but there are some nuances to how they work. Uh, you have pixel data that sits on a layer or levels here in the panel and if I turn this layer off what you see here is the canvas area. So you have a layer and then you have the canvas area. So you can either rotate a layer by itself or you can rotate the layer uh, and affect the canvas area at the same time. And I'll show you the difference here. Um, if you want to rotate the image and you just want to rotate the layer and you don't mind um, losing some of the pixel data that's on that layer, you can just click layer, transform, and you can do a rotation. So if I rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, note what happens. The pixels that are too uh, tall for the canvas area, they get cut off. And so if you don't mind losing uh, pixels in the process, you can do that. And you have these presets. You can go 90 degrees clockwise, 90 counterclockwise. You can go 180, which obviously you wouldn't lose any pixel data if you go 180. Or you can do arbitrary rotation. Let's say I wanted to make this where the, this rock line and the tree line are somewhat level with the horizon what I could do is just come up here and go to transform come down to arbitrary rotation and then put in an angle that I want to rotate the image at so if I want to go uh, clockwise I just make it a positive number and if I wanted to go counterclockwise I could put in a negative number so depending on which way you want to rotate you'll either put in a positive or a negative number. I'm going to stick with positive and you'll see here what happened the same thing as what happened when I did the 90 degree one I lost pixel data. Now I could scale this layer up to uh, zoom in if you will on the pixels that are there uh, or I could just crop it here so that it keeps the part that I want to save. Either one will work. Uh, so that's how you would rotate a layer of pixels. But you can also make a rotation. You can also rotate the image or the pixels without losing any of the pixel data. Uh, and I'll show you that. It, it's the exact same. Th it works the same way. You just go to the image menu instead of the layer menu. And if you come down here to transform and do this, you'll see note what happened uh, the canvas area changed along with the pixels when it got rotated that uh, is a way that you can make the rotation and keep all of the pixel information and just to show you uh, a little more clearly uh, if I come over here and transform and do the arbitrary rotation like we did on the layer it looks like it's going to do the same thing, but when I click the rotate button, watch what happens to the canvas. See, the canvas got resized so that it still keeps all of the pixel data. So from here, uh, you know, maybe I could do a little bit of uh, editing and maybe extend this tree line. I could maybe fill this in with some other uh, techniques using GIMP, or uh, I could do the same thing and just crop to the smallest common area and just keep that or I could again uh, scale up the layer because that layer is still a layer it's just uh, the canvas is holding all of it now that's a, a couple of different ways that uh, you can rotate an image uh, using GIMP I hope that helps and thanks for watching